Hello guys, welcome to another Hip Creative video tutorial. For this crop top, I use this brand. It's a 52% cotton and 84% acrylic. It, I use two skins of yarn at the same time. Each has 317 yards and it's a number two. It's a fine yard. yarn. And also I used this hook, it's a number F, 3.75 millimeters. Alright, so to begin we are going to take both our yarns at the same time and we're going to make a slip knot. Cross this one over. Okay, and then we're going to chain 90 stitches this is for small to medium size so we chain one two three four five six seven eight all right, so just continue doing this until you have all your stitches. Okay, so once you have all your stitches, first we're going to chain one, and then we're going to wrap our yarn once, and we're going to into the next stitch. So we're going to, we did a chain one, we're going to do our first half double crochet into the following stitch and go through all three. Now just do this on all of these stitches. When you get to the last one, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Okay, so we're going to do a double crochet into the very last one. I'm sorry, a half double crochet. And then we're going to chain one, return our work, and from now on we're going to double crochet only through the back loop. So we chain one, we wrap our yarn, and we're going to insert here in the back. Oops. You will regularly go through both, but we're only going through one, the back one. Like this too, but we are going to go through this one, the one in the back. And we do the double crochet. I'm sorry, they have double crochet. You now we'll do this for all the rows. We couldn't do it in the first one, but from now on, do all your half double crochets to, to the back loop. So now just continue doing this until you have reached about three inches and a half. If you want a little bit more coverage, then you can do, just keep adding rows. All right, next we are going to chain five, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to do a single crochet here. We're going to leave a space and we're just going to select a stitch and we're going to single crochet actually do a slip a stitch right there and then we're going to chain five again one two three four five and then we're going to leave about the same space and we do a slip a stitch 
once again one two three four five one two three four five let's select the last one Okay, now we're going to start working on the edge. We're going to make the final stitch. And to do that, we're going to begin by chaining three. One, two, three. Then we're going to make a double crochet into the next stitch. And another double crochet. Actually, I did an extra one. Okay, so now you should have your chain three and three double crochets. We're going to chain four, two, three, four, return the work, and then here in this space we had one, two, three double crochets and the three chains. Right there, we're going to make a single crochet. All right, so now we turn our work again. And now you have the three double crochets, the three chain, and a space over here on top. So now through that space, we're going to make seven double crochets. So we do one. So now, right in the next stitch here, we're going to do one double crochet. And now we do three more in the three ne next stitches. four. This is four. Oh, I got five. Okay. So now we have four stitches, four double crochets. All right. So now we chain four, two, three, four. We turn our work And here we're going to insert our needles here. Okay, like this. And then we're going to do a single crochet. And then we chain three. Okay, so we have our three chains, now we turn and we make five, seven double crochets into this space.
six and seven. So that's your repetition. And this is how it should look. All right, so I'll meet you once in right the now. Once you're done, should be. I only have one stitch left, so what I'm going to do is just finish. Okay. Now um, we're going to chain five, two, three, four, five. And we're going to make a slip stitch here. Just the same thing we did on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So now We can cut the yarn here and make a simple knot at the end. Okay, now it's time for the cups. I made one already. This is how it should look. Okay. So to begin, I'm making this cup for... I need it to be a C cup. So I'm going to... So I'm going to chain... 15 chains plus 2 at the end. Now, if you need to make a bigger cup, you can do 18 chains plus 2 at the end. And if you make if you have to make a smaller one, then you can do 12 chains plus 2 at the end. Always add 2 at the end. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 14, 15, and then we add one and two. And then we're going to do a half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. Okay, so now we continue doing half double crochets. until we reach the very last one and there we're going to do four half double crochets in the very last stitch now this is my very last stitch so right here i'm going to do four half double crochets so this is one two three and four okay now i'm going to work on this side on the we could call this the back of these stitches that we were working on. 
We are also going to do half double crochets. So I go into the following one, do one half double crochets, following one. So just continue doing this until you have reached the very last one. Now here, this is what you should have at the end. You had to do a half double crochet in the very last one. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one, turn my work, half double crochet in this one, not in the very first one but in the second one kind of and we're going to work on the back loop okay okay I think we got so we got the four stitches one two three four let me do one more here okay so now in the these four stitches that we have here we are going to increase one in each of these stitches so what we're going to do we're going to do two half double crochets in each of those four stitches. So that's two half double crochets in the first one. One, two, one, two, And the last one is one and two. Do this. So now just continue. Working your half double crochets. Up to the very last one. Okay, now. I got to the end. Chain one. Turn my work. Half double crochet through the back loop. We're going to do this until I have reached, here's the center, the center, one, two, three stitches before the center. I'm going to show you the increases that we're going to do from now on. All right now, here, this is my center stitch. As you can see, this is this should be your your guide. This was the, the base that we did, and now we have to find this stitch that is right in the center. Okay, so it's this one over here. So what we're going to do. This is the center, and I have one and two stitches before that. So I'm going to do two half double crochets. One and two. 
and then I'm going to do one half double crochet in the following one and then I'm going to do two half double crochets in the center stitch. Okay, so here's the center stitch. I did two half double crochets in one, one half double crochet in the following one, and two half double crochets in the center stitch. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet and two half double crochets in the in the following one. And I'm going to continue my half double crochets in all of the following stitches. Okay, so this is what you're going to have to repeat from now on. Then once you are done here, you're going to turn your work and you're going to once again find your center stitch. Use this line as your guide. Center one Paste this on over here, or if you want, you can put a marker or something in the previous one so you know which one should be the one on top. And then you're going to do this is the center, you count two stitches one half double, two half double crochets in this one, one half double crochets in the following one, two half double crochets in the center one, and then one half double crochet and two half double crochets all right so for the one that i'm making i'm going to repeat this row for about in total and eight times now this one is going to cover a lot if you want less coverage then you can do seven rows or i don't know about six but i think about like maybe seven rows will be good enough now, once all this piece is done, we're going to fold it in half, like this, and we find the middle. I already have a stitch marker. You can select any side you want. They all look about the same. Okay. So now, you select for the cups the side that you want to be on the right side and then you put it facing down and this one you're going to put it this corner right in the center you align it I'll use some pins to secure exactly what I want this to be then I have the thread on this side so with that with the tapestry needle all right so I will turn this so it is easier for me to work So stretch this out a little bit and we begin. I'm not using any specific uh, technique for this. If you know one, you like to use it, feel free. I'm just trying to get two stitches together and that's it. Okay, so just continue doing this until you have reached this end over here. This is how it's going to look on the right side. Now, once you're done, you'll do the same 
on the other side. You will get your cup. Use the center. And put it right here. And you put the two pieces together. Now, finally, we're going to do these straps. And to do this, we're going to get the yarn and we're going to cut a very, very long piece. And then we're going to fold that in half, like you see here. It's very long. Okay. So now here we have it in half. And we're going to find this space over here at the top of the cup. This is what we're going to do. And we're just going to make chains. That's all we have to do. You can use the same hook or if you have a bigger hook, it also works. So just continue doing this until you have reached the desired length for this trap. And you'll do the same on the other side, on the other cup. And you have to make it long enough so it goes through your back and through here. All right, so that's it. So once you are done with the straps, you'll be done. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below. And as always, thank you for watching.